gentlemen, this is the 2016 Xbox E3 Briefing. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. We are pleased to welcome the new Xbox One S console, the smallest Xbox One yet, to the Xbox One family of devices starting this August. On behalf of Team Xbox, I'd like to welcome you to what I believe is going to be a special show for us, our fans, and what we expect to be another great E3 for the industry. Today, we will show you how we are creating more choice in your gaming experience than ever before. More exciting hardware, more innovation on Xbox Live, and of course, more exclusive games. Thanks, Phil. Good morning, everybody. In addition to showing off all that HDR goodness the new Xbox One S delivers, Gears 4 will also be one of the first titles in the new Xbox program, Xbox Play Anywhere. This icon means when you buy the game digitally, you get to own it and play it on both Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. And that's with your progress and your achievements saved on Xbox Live and shared across both platforms, all at no additional cost to you. And beyond that, when Gears 4 is released on both platforms this October, every co-op mode in the game will support crossplay. <laughs> so players on Xbox One and Windows 10 can play together through the co-op campaign, co-op multiplayer, and yes, even the all-new Horde mode. Now to help me demonstrate the co-op campaign, I'd like to introduce Gears 4 co-star and my friend, the voice of Kate, Laura Bailey. I am so excited to show off the campaign. In this demo, Kate's mother, Reyna, has been abducted by a monstrous new threat, the Swarm. Get here! The swarm just keep coming. Yeah, and that wind flare is getting worse. I say we wait it out. We can't. Not if we're gonna save Reyna. I want to start by saying thank you to the nearly 7 million Killer Instinct players out there. So it's time for our next character to emerge, a special gift out there for all those Gears fans. And we're excited to bring him to the fight. Good morning, and welcome to Australia. It is great to have the opportunity today to show you the beauty and the action-packed fun of Forza Horizon 3. I'm joined on stage today by some of our team who will be showing you our world gameplay premiere. We have taken the Horizon Festival to Australia. As you can see, it's the largest, most diverse, most beautiful, and most fun open world we've ever built. And it is packed with new driving experiences, with new terrain, with new gameplay and challenges, and with all new vehicle types joining the largest car roster ever seen in Horizon. And Forza Horizon 3 also offers four-player campaign co-op for the very first time. Hello, everyone. Today, I want you all to see and experience the world of Final Fantasy XV. We are excited to show you the first ever demo on Xbox One. I will be played by Matt. It will be played by Matt. I would like to explain a little bit about the demo we're about to show. What we're about to see is the trial of Titan. Noctis and his allies are being tested by the gigantic Titan. But while they're fighting, the opposing army joins the fray, setting up a chaotic three-way battle. We're excited to show how fast and fluid the battle system is in Final Fantasy XV, which has never been achieved in any of our previous titles. Thank you, Matt. That was great. <laughs> Final Fantasy XV will be released on September 30th. Thank you, everyone. With Battlefield 1, our team's ambition was to deliver a unique and memorable experience for you. It's a truly epic warfare, and it could only be experienced at the dawn of all-out war, World War I. 
and the result is the most dynamic battlefield we've ever created. From epic 64-player experiences to dramatic single-player moments, no battle is ever the same. We have combined a variety of weapons and vehicles along with intuitive destruction and dynamic weather to create an ever-changing world. And it's more immersive than ever before. You will be able to play when Battle One launches on October 21st. But if you're an Xbox player and a member of EA Access, then you'll play it first starting October 13th. In 2002, we launched Xbox Live, where anyone playing any type of game can group up to make new friends and compete with gamers around the globe. Your desire to play more has led us to invest continually in Xbox Live. To bring you the new Xbox One experience, and most recently, cross-network play to Xbox Live so more people can play together. One, one of my favorite games, Rocket League, recently enabled this across all of the networks that allow it. Your feedback drives us every day. And because of it, we're excited to bring new features to Xbox One this summer, like background music, so you can listen to your favorite music while you play. Language region independence, letting you choose your preferred language no matter where you live, and bringing the intelligence of Cortana to Xbox One. Xbox Live is available on whatever device you use, a Windows PC, an Xbox console, an iOS or Android device. Now, I want to talk about three of the most requested features that will be coming this fall and available for every game and every gamer. First, Xbox Live has a great diversity of gamers representing different play styles, interests, and genres. The challenge is finding people with shared interests and having a place to talk about the games we love. Today, I am pleased to announce clubs on Xbox Live. Next, you told us it needs to be easier to find the players you want to play with right now. So I'm excited to announce looking for group on Xbox Live. Finally, competitive gaming has always been at the core of Xbox. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a casual gamer, we want to unleash competitive gaming for everyone. We're excited to announce Arena on Xbox Live a new tournament platform. It's the easiest way to discover, register, and compete all in one place. With over 100 million players on 14 platforms, the Minecraft community is one of the biggest in gaming. With Xbox Live, for the first time, players across iOS, Android, and Windows 10 can easily play together online and share the world with their friends. So we're calling today's release the Friendly Update because this is our friendliest update ever. Connecting with your friends on different devices is cool. What's even cooler? Dedicated servers that let you host your own worlds and share them with your friends. With the introduction of Realms, you can play with your friends how you want, where you want, on whatever device you want. The choice is yours. Add-ons will come to Minecraft, Windows 10, iOS, and Android, and other mobile editions this fall. We're also working hard to bring add-ons and realms to Xbox and consoles next year. Until then, download the friendly update with Realms and Xbox Live. Anyone with an Xbox Live account can sign up right now and try Realms for free on your phone, tablet, or Windows 10. So one of the coolest parts of my job is that I get to play a lot of games before they come out. I've gotten to play inside, and I can honestly say it is a masterpiece. And to celebrate the launch, Playdead's first game, Limbo, is going to be available for free to all players on Xbox One starting today. You know, independent developers have fundamentally changed the way we play games this generation, bringing unprecedented diversity and fantastic experiences to players around the world. And with more than 1,000 games in development for Xbox One and Windows today via the ID at Xbox program, we're really in a golden age. One game that's already broken the million seller mark is ARK Survival Evolved from our friends at Studio Wildcard. 
For those of you who have already bought ARK on Xbox One, you're going to be able to play it on Windows 10 PCs this fall at no additional cost, thanks to Xbox Play Anywhere. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. So, ARK is part of Xbox Game Preview. It's a program that enables players to buy and play games while they're still in development and offer feedback to the creators. The program has been a huge success with both players and developers, and we're excited to have a lot more games coming to Xbox Game Preview soon, including Slime Rancher, The Culling, Everspace, Daisy, and a whole lot more. Something that really, really amazed us after we released Witcher 3 is that in this huge, huge open world, players took a lot of time to just sit down in taverns and play cards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about a game of Gwent? Awesome. We've turned Gwent into a full-blown multiplayer experience. And thanks to its cross-play feature, you can battle people from around the world, regardless of whether they use PCs or consoles. Today, we're happy to announce that Tekken 7 is coming to Xbox One. There is an all-new story mode that transitions seamlessly from epic narrative cinematics to action-filled gameplay. Gamers know gaming is all about moments. Remember the adrenaline rush you had as you air dashed hundreds of feet above a mutant-infested city? Yeah. Or surviving a broken heart after the death of a beloved character? <laughs> At Microsoft Studios Publishing, our mission is simple. Bring new blockbuster games to all of our platforms by working with the most creative, innovative developers in the world. Sometimes the games feel totally different, like ReCore. Sometimes the games are reinventions of familiar titles, like Killer Instinct. <laughs> the next few games represent some of the best ideas brewing at Microsoft Studios. And it's worth noting that these games, like ReCore and Killer Instinct, Gears 4 and Forza Horizon 3, will all be part of the Xbox Play Anywhere program. Since the release of the original Halo Wars seven years ago, one of the top asks from fans has been to continue the adventures of the Spirit of Fire. In Halo Wars 2, the crew wake to find themselves orbiting an ancient alien construct known as the Ark. Here, they face a deadly new faction known as the Banished, and their chief, the brute warlord, Atriox. Atriox is an entirely new kind of villain in our universe, a brilliant leader with the power of a massive army behind him, and he represents a menace that the crew are completely unprepared for. In partnership with acclaimed developer Creative Assembly, we're proud to bring Halo Wars 2 to Windows 10 and Xbox One on February 21st, 2017. Halo Wars 2 will be an Xbox Play Anywhere title and will be playable here at E3. But you guys don't have to wait to play Halo Wars 2. We're launching a week-long beta on Xbox One right now. Today we announce the Xbox One S, the new addition to the Xbox One family, and shared that all Xbox One games and accessories will continue to work across all members of the Xbox One family. But that's just the beginning. We see exciting opportunities on the horizon, opportunities to unlock new innovation for both gamers and developers alike. The next step change for gamers and developers must deliver true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR. <laughs> Project Scorpio will be the next addition to the Xbox One family, and it is ultimately the next step in delivering our vision for the future of gaming beyond generations. When it ships next year, we believe it will be the most powerful console ever built. With six teraflops of power, this is hardware built specifically to lead the console industry into true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR. True 4K visuals without sacrificing quality, premier VR experiences without sacrificing performance. Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Project Scorpio will all be compatible. Today marks the beginning of gaming beyond generations. A future full of choice, a future where we can all play without boundaries. Thank you.